Good morning. It is a joy for me to stand before you to share a brief talk on something that you and I perhaps have gone through or going through every other day. Arjun Kapoor, the stepson of actress Sri Devi, who suddenly died and India was shocked, uh, once said in an interview this, he said, loneliness is a vacuum. You are devoid of any emotion. There's a deep hole in your heart. Life is sucked out. When there is no one to call or talk to. I've experienced this loneliness several times in the past. Ever since my mom, and that was not Sri Devi, for someone else, ever since my mom passed away and my dad, I mean, several years ago, married Sri Devi. Loneliness. Not just Arjun Kapoor, but you and I, there are times when we feel lonely. We may be in a football ground and we may be around several players, but in the middle of a football ground, you feel lonely. You may be in a crowded classroom and the class is going on, the jokes are on, with your, the friends are sharing jokes, but in the, amidst the jokes, you are lonely. I read this, uh, this was part of a suicide note with actress Jia Khan wrote in 2013. Her relationship broke down and she wrote this about her boyfriend. The Goa trip was my birthday present to you, but even after you cheated, I still spent on you. I aborted our baby when it hurt me deeply. I felt so alone, uh, listen to this young people, I felt so alone even while I was with you. I felt so alone even when I was with you. You made me feel alone and vulnerable. I do not know what relationship you're into, but in that relationship, despite the relationship, that special relationship you have, you feel lonely. To a lonely generation, I have a good news for you. And that good news comes out of the book which I hold in my hand. This is the Bible, God's word in human words. God's word in human words. And this Bible talks about someone who can be a friend closer than a brother. We read that in the Bible book of Proverbs. Jesus is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. When he walked on this earth, he met a man called Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a short man, he was up a tree. Jesus told him, Zacchaeus come down tonight I want to stay in your house he said Zacchaeus come down I want you to be I want to be your friend this morning Jesus is here he's looking at you no matter what you have done it doesn't matter what you have done is unprintable it doesn't matter you are goofed up he looks at you and says I love you I want to be your friend now there are three reasons why Jesus can make you make the best friend possible for you and me Reason number one, and that is, he entered the world just like you, but there's a difference. He had no father, no human father. He entered the world just like you. You and I were born via our mother's wombs, and that's how Jesus was also born. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 4 and verse 4, when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman. Jesus' mom did not have a relationship, a, a physical intimacy with the man she was engaged to. She had physical intimacy with no one. She was a virgin, the Bible says. But Jesus was born via the womb of Virgin Mary. He had no earthly father. He lived in the heavens above from eternity past and he, he could have come down like Amir Khan did in the movie PK in a spaceship or something or he could have come down via a parachute or he could have come down like, uh, uh, like the Spider-Man via a spaceship but he didn't choose any of those methods he chose to identify with you and me he was born of a woman's womb that was his way of saying I can be your friend secondly why can Jesus be your best friend he existed like you and me but again there's a difference there was no flaw in him 
First, there was no, he had no father. Second, there was no flaw. He existed like you and me. For example, he felt human emotions. You know, there are times when, when this special girl class, you know, when he leaves you, my friend, and goes to another boy who's more tall or more talented or a better speaker or, a, or a, 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 with better intelligence or a, a, this guy can talk more romantically than you and you feel boy that somebody has played football with your heart you play football on the ground but you feel that girl has played football with your heart you know there are times when you feel hurt Jesus understands it when somebody plays football with his heart because Judas Iscariot played football with Jesus heart and the Bible says in John chapter 12 verse 27 Jesus' heart was full of anguish. That is a human emotion. Jesus experienced anguish. Not just anguish, Jesus experienced astonishment. You know, when Dinesh Karthik hit the last ball six and took India to a win in that tri-series in Sri Lanka a few weeks ago, we were astonished. When, when, uh, when uh, Ravindra Jadeja hit a second last ball six, I mean penultimate ball six last night, to take CSK for a win over KKR, we were astonished. And the Bible says Jesus was also astonished when he saw the faith of a military officer. Jesus, he Jesus healed his sick, sick servant. He saw his faith, and the Bible says he was astonished. Why do I say this? He had emotions just like us, so he can understand your emotion. Every emotion you go through, the emotion of anger, the emotion of frustration, the emotion of rage. Jesus understands he can be your friend but there's one difference Jesus was tempted at all points the Bible says yet without sin the world is divided into two categories sinners and non-sinners and in the non-sinners category there's only one person that is Jesus all the rest of us and anyone you care to name all the rest of us and anyone you care to name on the other side we're all sinners but there's only one entry in the non-sinners list and that is Jesus the Bible says in the book of 1 John sin was not part of his program so he had emotions just like us he existed just like us and finally why can't Jesus be a best friend because he, he exited the world just like you and I will exit the world one day via death but again there's another difference nobody could force him to death jesus chose to die the ever existing god who became god in flesh voluntarily chose to die why because he wanted to be a sacrifice for your sin and my sin and that was laid upon him on the cross of calvary 2000 years ago when he died but he said no one takes away my life i lay it down on my own accord nobody could force him to death but he voluntarily willingly laid down his life and this Jesus says, today I want to be your friend. You might be a Judas, you might have betrayed him, but the Bible says Jesus called Judas my friend. You may be a betrayer, but Jesus calls you a friend. You may be a backslider, Jesus calls you a friend. Would you close your eyes? And I want to just take one more minute. You know, I invite you to place your hand over your heart and invite Jesus to be the friend, a friend. Invite Jesus, make Jesus to be your friend you can say Lord I'm turning away from sin because sin will separate you from Jesus when you turn from us turn from sin and put your faith in Jesus Jesus who died for you on the cross Jesus who shed his blood for you and Jesus who rose again Jesus who's sitting at the right hand of the Father Jesus who's praying for you Jesus who's gonna come back soon to judge the world you say Lord I put my faith on you hand over your heart and say Jesus today I'm turning from my sin and putting my faith in you. I want you to be my friend. Come in, Lord Jesus. Amen.